figure of eight knot. Okay, here's a bit of blurb on it, and I'll give you some visuals here whilst I'm reading it. The essential knot to prevent a sheet or halyard running through a block. The figure of eight also forms the basis for many other fancier knots. It differs from the overhand knot in that its ends emerge from the knot parallel to each other, rather than at angles. It is also much less likely to seize up when tightened. And I've just got that from a book written by uh, Geoffrey Budworth and Nick Compton. And to be honest, of all the knots, this is one of the easiest ones in the world to tie. And basically, it's a figure of eight. So, if we get our cord like so, we then bring it round like so, over itself, then under itself, and then pass it back through the loop that we created originally. And so therefore, as we tighten up at this one, you can see it's very symmetrical, but like it says before, it will actually stop it going through a block. It's basically a stopper knot in a sense. However, you will find that as you get on to other knots and decorative knots, this one will keep reappearing. Um, it's a very easy knot to do, very simple one. Just do it, remember it, and then it'll come to you at different times when you need to use it. And so that is the figure of eight knot. Thank you for, Thank you for watching this video. Um, if you enjoyed it um, and you think others might benefit from this, um, it would be great if you could hit the share button, which is just below the video on the YouTube page that you're currently on. If you want to have um, notifications in the future of new knotting videos that I produce, then just click on the logo that should appear just about there on my screen or this screen, not my screen, your screen, our screen. You know what I mean. I'm really hopeless at this. Okay, so anyway, that's how to go ahead. Click the share button, click the subscribe button, and we'll do some more in the future. Thanks very much for watching.